Welcome here, Agnieszka. No, I can't. <laughs> you guys, today is Veterans Day. Today is Friday, but did you guys also know, dziś mówimy po polsku. Of course. Uh, of course. Let me translate for you guys. Today we are speaking Polish. Why, you may ask, in honor of Polish Independence Day, which is today, November 11th, not to be confused with May 3rd, which is a huge celebration here, which is Polish Constitution, Constitution Day. Yeah, so today we're commemorating the anniversary, I'll explain to you guys, of the celebration of the restoration of Poland's sovereignty as the Second Republic back in 1918, right? Correct. So this is a really big deal. So with me right now is my fellow Pole, Agnes or Agnieszka. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So Agnieszka is the owner of a Polish restaurant that is up in Mount Prospect. Correct. And it is called Kulinaria. Perfect pronunciation. <laughs> thank, thank you very much. So Mount Prospect actually is a big home to Pol a lot of Polish population as well, That's right? That's true. A lot of people moved from Chicago, from city, and they moved to suburbs. And uh, the closest one was this plains, was Mount Prospect. And here is our hometown. So we decided to open a small Polish restaurant with a modern twist on all traditional dishes back yeah. in 2012. Okay. So it's almost four years when we open. And um, here we are today with uh, what we're gonna present over the weekend. Yeah, it's gonna be very excited, exciting weekend because it's uh, besides the Polish Independence Day, it's also a day of a Polish cuisine, which is so good. Which is so good. Six years ago, people in Poland start celebrating, like you yeah. guys, you Americans, yeah. celebrate Independence Day with picnics and right. turkey. We celebrate with, with food. With food. Yeah, so it's kind of like you guys know May 3rd, people go crazy in Chicago for Constitution Day, big parade, uh, big rally. But today in Poland, this is a really big day, and a lot of Polish Chicagoans celebrate today, right? Exactly, and uh, we want to make a tradition and invite Poles and, and Americans to the table today. Go out, go to the restaurants. Yeah. It's Askulinarnia, it's Staropolska and Belmont, it's yeah. Lutnia and uh, Staropolska and Milwaukee, Lutnia and Belmont. My parents own a Polish store. Exactly, it's really so big go in the community. When Whenever you want to any Polish restaurant and celebrate with us Polish Independence Day with amazing dinners, many restaurants prepare like wonderful dishes. So how are we how are we honoring uh, uh, Polish Independence Day? What do we have here? Uh, we have here the very popular at that time in uh, in Poland was a goose. So we have goose day, right? Goose day, exactly like Turkey Day, goose day. So my parents were born in Poland. I'm first generation here, but I've never heard of goose day. So what like what is it? Um, it's like Turkey Day. Turkey meat is very Turkey is very popular for the Thanksgiving yeah. uh, dishes and very and, and all almost all tables uh, in America Turkey is on the table for that particular okay. day. So Many, let's talk about the food because people are probably salivating right now. So like I said, we have goose here with. Okay. Uh, um, it's a baked uh, apple, little bit of uh, cranberry sauce. For the appetizer, we have smoked herring. It's a fish. My dad is obsessed. Oh, Any my Polish dad father is eating the, <laughs> the, the smoked herring. Smoked anything, really. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's really delicious. It and is, it's yep. it's made by the uh, by us. It's made from the scratch. Okay. We also celebrate today with a uh, uh, beef tartare made from the beef tenderloin. Okay. It's a raw meat, but it's like must be uh, appetizer on a Polish table. And this is different from a lot of people think Polish food. And what is the first thing they think of? Pierogi, exactly. They say pierogi, ponczki, but this is like a modern twist. It's a little that's, different, right? That's what our restaurant decided to do when we open a, when we open uh, our little space. We said, okay, we have to put a modern twist on old traditional dishes and show people that Polish cuisine can be light, healthy, and a little bit different. Do people come in still asking for that good old hearty Polish traditional of cuisine? And, and of course we have it. We have it. We have specials. Yeah. We have uh, we have goulash. We have pierogies as well. My mom makes the best pierogi in Chicago. All right. So, Perfect. Uh, this is w just one way that you guys can celebrate Polish Independence Day, which again is today. And then what was it? Polish weekend. We're celebrating all the food, right? Yes, Polish we're cuisine. celebrating Day of a Polish Cuisine in America. And uh, where so can we people go for more information? You guys have a website Yes, we created a website, Polish Cuisine Day .com, Polish Cuisine Day .com, and then you can find there all of the information about every single restaurant participating in this event. And I invite everyone to the table and let's celebrate with us okay. and let's uh, sing Stolat to Poland. Stolat, yeah, Stolat, dziękuję. Mike, mówisz po polsku trochę? Uh, I, I don't know any people school at all, but Jakuya, I appreciate your uh, report there. <laughs> well, then no, no people for you. Oh, you better bring some in for me. Let's.